Welcome back to The Knitting Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a popcorn stitch. And the popcorn stitch in today's example is gonna be using three stitches in order to make it pop. So it will not be as big as a five stitch popcorn. So you can decide what you would like to do. Starting on the right side of the work, you're just going to knit over on how many stitches you prefer. And when you're ready to do a popcorn, that's when you're gonna start the magic. So now let's put three stitches all into this one. To start, you are going to start with the knit stitch. So just going into that same stitch and you're gonna yarn over from the back and through. Do not slide anything off. Okay, keep this on. You're going to shift the yarn that you're playing with in a purl format. So you're gonna go between the needles to the front side and you were going to purl into the same loop. So coming from the front, yarn over and push back. And we're not quite done. We wanna knit again into that same loop. So you need to move this yarn back between the needles to the back side and knit once again. So what you've done is that you've just created three stitches to be in this one. And so when you go to slide off this one now, cause we're ready, is that you will notice is that it will leave a little bit of a gap. So now you can do as many popcorns as you need to wherever it's telling you to do it. So I'll show you one more time. This is a three popcorn stitch. So let's just say the next one is gonna be the popcorn. So start off and you're going to start with the knit format first, but do not slide off. Move the yarn between the needles to the front and purl into that same loop. Push to the back. And now you're gonna knit once again. So move the yarn to the back and in the same loop. You're just going to do that. And now that you've done that three times, you're ready to slide this off. So you can do this as many times as you need to. And you're going to notice is that you're gonna have some extra space that's showing because that's what's creating the popcorn in the end. Okay, so when you get all the way here, you'll notice it looks slightly different. So let's turn this around and do the back side, and this will complete the popcorn stitch itself. To do the back side, we're gonna do a purl format for everything. And what you want to pay attention to is where you have the popcorn stitches when it creates an open gap that you see. So I'm going to start off and I'm gonna start purling and I'm gonna look for where those popcorns appear. So you can see it just looks like a regular stitch at this point, so I'm just continuing along. And this here is going in. And you see that the next stitch will look slightly different. Okay, see how there's a gapping space? This is a popcorn. So carefully, what you have to do is put those three together as one stitch, okay, because it technically is. And so you're just gonna purl all three together. So just sliding in the front side, collect all three of those loops. It can be a bit challenging, but you don't mind a challenge today. So I've got two so far, and it's just gotta create that extra space in order to get that needle through. So once I have collected all three, I'm just going to purl and just do that. And once that's confirmed, you're going to slide those three loops off because that is the popcorn itself. And that will create a, a bump on the other side. So then you're gonna purl whatever you need to do to get to the next one if you have multiples. And you're looking to the obvious sign of when things change that you know you have to put those three together. Okay, so you can see that there's a gap there. So these three here are made up of the popcorn. So you're just going to put those three together. I'm finding my knitting needles for here. I love these knitting needles, but I find they need to be a little bit pointier uh, in order to make it easier for myself. So that may be a consideration if you're uh, practicing this stitch and definitely uh, for me to be a little bit looser with my stitching as well. So I'm a little tense. I haven't knitted in two weeks. So I'm maybe a little bit tighter than I normally, normally am. Don't tell anybody though. So we're just gonna to continue to weasel those things through. Make sure you collect the entire um, strands and not just splitting the plies. And then you're just gonna put those through. And once confirmed through, slide all those three off. And that is another popcorn that is complete. Okay. So you can see I kind of accidentally split a ply. So you make sure that you don't split any plies because it just will make your life rough and then you'll bang on social media that you screwed up. <laughs> so what's happened here 
is that when you get all the way to the other side, is that when you turn it around, you will notice that you'll have bumps in the work that weren't there before, and these are the popcorn using three stitches.